going on everybody? John Stamper with John Stamper Media. We are here live. It is Ditron's 2024 National Symposium. It is the afternoon of day one. It has been an awesome day. A lot of learning, a lot of networking. It's been great. Uh, very excited. Uh, we're going to continue this on. Uh, we actually have kind of like a two for one here. We have, you know, we're going to talk about a great company that's here as also as well as one of the speakers. So I'm with Dr. Frank Lamar, who is the founder of Hybrid Dental Implants. Dr. Lamar, how you doing? Yeah, great. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Pleasure. All right. Yeah. So let's get into hybrid first, and then mm -hmm. we'll have you touch on what you're going to present tomorrow. Sure. Well, I'm a prosthodontist. Okay. And so 20-something uh, years ago, I started doing full arch implants, which was kind of ahead of the curve, I would say, by a bit. Yeah. And uh, realized that we were onto something, but we didn't have all the capabilities that we needed. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we realized we needed was complete control over the final restoration. Huh. So much so that uh, uh, we probably wouldn't have done full arch if we couldn't control it ourselves. Okay. And so we created a laboratory, which we call the Hybrid Dental Laboratory. And uh, with it, we created a protocol, which has changed over the years quite a bit. Mm -hmm. 20 years, a long time in technology, right. but the protocol along with the laboratory product our tagline is a simple way to a lasting smile and simple way is the process. Lasting smile is the liability we know we have when we put something in the mouth. Right. Yeah. And uh, what's that journey been like? I mean, how, where, where has that taken you since you've, you know, I mean, I made the decision to do it? You know what? I tell everybody, <laughs> being a dentist and practicing dentistry, way easier. <laughs> it's way easier. Yeah. So, you know, like anything else, um, you know, you have an idea, you're trying to solve a problem. Most businesses are problem solving businesses. I knew I had a problem to solve and it isn't like you solve it like that. Yeah. And sometimes you solve this and then something else pops up. So we spent 20 years solving problems. Yeah. And uh, what we're talking about tomorrow is really about, you know, uh, how we got to now, really. There's a great book, How We Got to Now. I don't know if you've ever read it. No. Uh, one of my favorite books, but it's on the innovations uh, in the history of time. Mm -hmm. And uh, how we got to know in Full Arch is very interesting. You know, you see all these lecturers talking about digital dentistry and Full Arch and whatever. Uh, uh, it's moving so fast. But if you look back just 20 years, like we're, we're we actually, 1990 was my first Full Arch. So really 34 years. Um, uh, it's amazing if you really knew the history of what we were, what we're doing today versus where we came from. It'd blow your mind. So speaking of that, when you first started Highbridge, what was some of the feedback and response from the doctors that you were working with as you were kind of getting it out of the gate? And did you get a lot of support? Were a lot of them excited? Was it were there like these initial aha moments, like oh, like Frank really figured this out for us? Like he obviously had his own challenges. And but what, what was what were those early days like in conversations with the doctors? Fascinating question, honestly, because we used to give, uh, we still give courses, but in, in, in the early days of hybrid training, doctors would come in and it was usually recommended by an implant rep or somebody about, you gotta see what these guys are doing in Rochester, New York. They come in and I start talking in, in the, the, the first, the morning to the lunch, it was this, it was like, they were like burning and burning eyes at me. <laughs> Because I was showing them these cases that we were taking teeth out and reducing bone. And they that's not how right. dentists are trained. Right. And so we are fixers and we are we are about maintaining bone. We don't take yeah. a big bone. Right. So so the the paradigm shift of the for the better good of the patient long term, right. these are the things you have to do. You gotta you gotta think about all these things. And I think by lunchtime they would always come up and say, oh my God, I never thought of it that way. And so um, now you go into a group like this and it's commonly accepted principles yeah. of full arch, yeah. but trust me, it wasn't like that 20 years yeah. ago. How did you find the way to move through that? Like I, I think about the dental community, I've been in dentistry for 20 years and I know how important, you know, peer to peer credibility is and the, in the, in the respect of your peers. And then in a case like this, kind of going against the grain and, and having that vision, how'd you stay, how'd you stay motivated, you know, to, to know that what you were doing was the right thing? 
I have no idea. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah. That's good. That's I don't great. know. You know what? I, I think the key to not giving up is having a very short memory. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, you have a bad day. It, I mean, we've done things that haven't worked out for months over and over and over again. Our XD, uh, we have a patent. Uh, it's a, it's a three-dimensional CBCT capture um, of implant position and tooth position all at one time. Right. Uh, we had the idea. We didn't actually make it work for like, uh, it was probably a year. Yeah. To the point where we probably certain days we would have given up, except by the next day if we were over it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Short memory. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Uh, talk a little bit about uh, this symposium and being here with Ditron and, and just kind of the excitement of getting all these doctors together, uh, at, you know, as there's so much more, you know, positive energy, you know, towards implants and where it's going and like the, t the technology. What's, what's it been like for you to be here as both a, a speaker, the company, all those things together? Well, first of all, uh, this organization and this and what they put together with Ditron this weekend, I, I give them a lot of credit. This is a it's a big undertaking. I've put on symposiums. It's a lot of work and it's a lot to put it together and the speakers are phenomenal so far. So, so, um, so I would give them kudos for that. Um, I think this group of individuals the, who I've known many of them for 20, 30 years, uh, the CEO, actually David Lee Howell, yep. I've known him since uh, actually, he was my implant rep back in the 1990s, <laughs> believe it or not. Yeah. And so I have a real, uh, uh, I just have a real great feeling about who these people are and why they're doing it. I mean, Oli Jensen and I kind of are like two people who uh, were like this for the last 20 years of Full Arch. Because, you know, he started in 2000, I think, five, maybe. And he's been, you know, he's done as much or more at Full Arch than I've done. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, when you get together with somebody who's had that much experience and you kind of compare war stories about the the, the things that are difficult and the failures and the problems that we had to solve along the way, you realize that everybody's had the same experience. Yeah. And so what he's trying to do with these implants and with, you know, creating healthier patients long-term with implants, yeah. I hats off to him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm sure, you know, they really appreciate you being here. Uh, it's, it's been very exciting. The last question I have for you is that uh, you talked about like getting to the now when you look at dentistry moving forward, what are you most excited about? Um, you know, I just think that that all of this technology is for the benefit of the patient, and that sounds a little kind of trite, maybe. But there's no doubt that uh, actually one of the I just share so I'm going to share this tomorrow. Yeah, my lecture, absolutely. you're here yeah. first. My friends call me the fifth dentist. Okay, four out of five dentists recommend something. Frank's got to be that fifth one that doesn't agree with anybody. So <laughs> for whatever that's worth. So there is a lot of thinking out there that pe people do things a certain way, either because they were taught to do it or because other people that they know are doing it and they don't really question why they do it. Yeah. And I'm that guy going, you know, so, so I think what's, what's really interesting about technology is that it allows us to keep driving efficiency and quality. And when you can, the, the fifth dentist thing, by the way, the reason why I brought it up is because my theory is every year, instead of raising your fees three to 5%, you should lower them three to 5%. You have the ability as a dentist who's more efficient mm -hmm. to pass that efficiency off to the patient and treat just a bigger sample size of patients and you know and i think that's really where technology yeah. is going to come in handy not not for the dentist necessarily right. yeah it's interesting because like i talk a lot uh, this uh, a lot is that uh patients are coming in now and they're having these experiences with other businesses that they work with and i feel like now they have a lot of those same expectations right when they come to the dental practice there's a, there's an expectation of technology right there's an expectation of transparency which as you know for many many years dentistry wasn't always like that there was no menu in the waiting room talking about how much things cost mm. uh and that's changed a lot and yeah. so i think to your point i think like honoring the patient in that way leveraging the technology um there's a, there's a lot of really great dentists there and there's a lot of really needy patients out there yeah uh uh, the idea of cutting, there's no really, there's no reason to talk about competition. Yeah. There's just, let's figure out a way to do it so that we can do it in a way that more people can afford it. Yeah. I think that's the key. Awesome. 
Frank, thanks so much for your time. Congratulations on everything. Thanks. Uh, congratulations to thanks. Uh, the short-term memory. And uh, let's. I'm sorry. Why did I say something? Exactly. Like exactly. <laughs> you did. <laughs> it's gone, everybody. Dr. Frank Lamar. Play, play that back. Yeah. High bridge dental implants. Speaking tomorrow. <laughs> thanks for being here. My Appreciate pleasure. It. All right. Thanks.